In this video, I want to talk about hashtags in terms of the Instagram world, what they are, how to use them, and how some are more important than others. Welcome back. If you're new to this channel, my name is Jake Diego, and on this channel, I talk about how to improve your Amazon business, including personal development things, and lastly, share my goals with you. Getting into all this Instagram hashtag stuff, let's talk about this. I do want to make the note that I am in the in-laws kitchen. We're going to be moving here in about two weeks. I also just got out of the shower and nicked myself with a razor, but anyways, <laughs> problems, problems, problems. Hashtags are useful because it's basically gonna, it's similar to a keyword in that when somebody wants to know about trimming trees, planting a garden, running a 5K, training for a marathon, they're going to use keywords and they're gonna be searching for these things. So how this relates to Instagram and discovery and all that is that you can use these hashtags and people will find you through them. So let's take a look at the computer here. Okay, so what you're looking at here to show you guys kind of what I'm talking about is this is my Instagram account just as I learned about hashtags. As you can see here, I have 43 followers on March 15th. That's when this picture is taken. Now, if we take a look at July 4th, it's almost added on a thousand from where we were. So what is a hashtag? I mean, here's an example of one, FBA seller. It's essentially a word that starts with a pound sign. So pound Amazon seller, pound trading stocks, online marketing, shop your way, that kind of thing. So these are just some examples of it. And what you'll see here is we can see on the, on the FBA seller one that there is 52,000 posts, meaning that people have posted using this hashtag 52,000 times. We take a look at this, that Amazon USA back on March 20th, as you can see up here, was at 9,705 posts. So there's all different levels. You can make up a hashtag your own on your own, you know, hashtag Jake Diego. It's just, there's not gonna be a lot of people searching for those, so it's unlikely to increase any discovery for you. So you have the part of what a hashtag is, it's similar to a keyword. It's something that someone's searching for, something's look, someone's looking for. The idea of what size of a hashtag there are, and now how to use hashtags in your posts, such as this one of mine. As you can see, I put dot, 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 hashtag businessman, business goals, FBA seller, small business, so on and so forth. You use a variety of them because you can use up to 30 hashtags. Now back to the example that I was using, you can see here that Amazon USA, which is this hashtag here, 9705, on March 20th was at that value. Now, the beauty comes in the velocity of a hashtag because the more people that are posting about things, the more energy that's going into a hashtag also is going to impact other people seeing it. So you want those hashtags that are growing like crazy. So in that Amazon USA example, I did it today, a screenshot, we have 32.8 thousand posts, meaning that it had some pretty good growth. I mean, 9, 18, 27, 36 almost 400%, I would say. Um, whereas entrepreneurial life today is 159,000, but on March 20th, it was 125,000. So not a whole lot of growth with that hashtag. So that's the other part of this. And that is the velocity, the growth of a hashtag. The more you get on a hashtag that's growing and that's co consistently growing, you know, you have more eyeballs on that, you have more emphasis and energy into that. Quick little side note here is, the one example I gave you, this entrepreneurial life is, entrepreneur life, excuse me, is 125,000, whereas this Amazon USA is 9,705. So there's a big difference between 9,700 and that 30, that 125,000 number. So there's another part of this that is, for a smaller account, you wanna use those smaller hashtags because you're not gonna get buried in the clutter and everything else and these bigger IG accounts with more clout than you um, by using those smaller hashtags. Now this could be a whole different video, so I won't get all into that, 
but the principle is still the same now. So in that example, I would say Amazon USA is superior to the entrepreneur life hashtag only because it's growing more. Now, in all reality, you want to use a variety of hashtags that are relevant to what you're speaking about, to what your niche is, to what you're about. Hopefully this made some sense to you. The idea is, is that a hashtag is anything with a pound symbol in front of it. There's many ways to use hashtags. Just make sure they're relevant to what you're talking about, to what you're doing. I think the hashtags that are growing the fastest are the best to use because there's more eyeballs there, there's more attention there, and you're gonna grow your audience quicker doing that. If you guys have any questions though, please let me know in the comments down below, and don't forget to like this video. If there's some other video you wanna see on this topic, also let me know that, and take care.